Well, hello, Wingnuts. We have moved to the new Airbnb. We are not real happy, but we'll make do. Uh, let me turn this around so I can show you what it looks like. So we are on the third floor. This is the parking area. There's several buildings. And then here's the door to the Airbnb. So it has very small furniture and not real comfortable. Uh, I'm going to test the couch in this one as well, but I sat in that one over there and it, it wasn't very comfortable. There is a table with my lovely husband, um, which we're going to move over to this side because there's a plug on this side and he's going to sit here to do his drawing. And of course there's an air conditioner there. And then there is a bathroom. We didn't know that it doesn't currently have hot water. Uh, but we did pay a little extra for him to get some hot water because I need hot water because I'm a big baby. So, and then there's two bedrooms. We are going to be in separate beds because they're small beds, but he's going to take this one because it's a darker, it's got the blackout curtain. Although I'm going to use the mirror in here because look, I can see my whole self now. And then... Right next door is this other lovely room that does not have the blackout curtain. And I stole his nightstand so that I'd have something to set my stuff on. And another lovely bed. And then this, let's see if this curtain works. Because the curtain in the living room doesn't. Oh, look at that. I can look right down the pool from here. Okay. <gasps> well, let's do that because that's breaking. But there's the pool. And the pool is for the whole complex, so we're iffy on whether we'll even use it because there's a lot of kids in there. Uh, I can already say, and that is breaking, and the one in the living room, I can't open it all because it is broken. It does have Wi-Fi, which is good. We must have Wi-Fi. And then a refrigerator, which is a very large refrigerator, so that's helpful. An interesting hot plate with some very interesting instructions, by the way. Uh, it's got a few dishes and a sink. And then this room is where the hot water heater is. Although, again, it doesn't have a tank currently, and he's gone to do that. There is some cleaning supplies in here. So we have a broom and a dustpan. And I can wash a few things in here. We did find out there's an OXO about two or three blocks down the road, which I'll be checking on fairly soon here so we can go get some drinks and whatnot. And there is a lavenderia, not terribly far away, but we will have to take an Uber to get to it. This is not walking distance to much of anything, although we are going to go out walking in a little while and kind of just explore. Uh, we might do that tomorrow because lugging all of that up the stairs was a little tough on him. He's a little tired, so... And I have a uh, show to do with a friend of mine, a podcast tonight to do with a friend of mine on, wisdom, on the Wisdom app. So I want to make sure that I'm here to do that with her. But that is the walkthrough of the current Airbnb. It is much bigger. We do have more space to spread out. Um, there are more plugins, not by many, but there are a few more plugins, which is nice. And we did have to pay extra for the hot water, which I wasn't expecting, but I'm not totally sad about it. it was, well, we gave him $30 and he's going to give us back um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 25 of that if he's giving us back, if he's keeping only 200, so, which is what he said. And then we'll have hot water. It, it's still going to be a few days before we have it, but we will have hot water. Uh, not really impressed with the fact that the swimming pool is for so many people. That was not something that was said in the ad. A lot wasn't said in this ad. So this is one of the ones, learning experience, that I have learned I need to ask a lot more questions when I'm booking stuff. But it is what it is, and we may, we may stay here the whole four months or we may stay here a couple of months and see if we can't find something else to move to 
to be a little more comfortable. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so we just went to a mini supermarket here to pick up some supplies for the couple of days that we've decided to stay because we are going to actually go back down into Centro. But we bought some bread and some tortillas, some ham and mayonnaise and eggs and some noodles and some sodas and me because I love mashed potatoes. We have mashed potatoes and refried beans with pork, some snacks some more snacks, bowls, and no place that I have seen has plastic bags, so we bought a bag because we didn't think when we left to take one. And for all of that, which will feed us for at least two, maybe three days, we spent $23.03. Crazy good. All right, I will see you again soon.